Hey there, folks, it's me, Jimmy Decay, here with another special, with, actually, this is your special edition of the Super Bowl edition of the Jimmy Decay Sports Show. What a tremendous game this Super Bowl was. The New England Patriots versus the Seattle Seahawks. Wow, it definitely went down to the wire. Tom Brady against Russell Wilson, and I will say, Russell Wilson came out to uh, prove that he could win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. But the question is, did he or did he not? If you're viewing and you've already watched the Super Bowl, you know that he did not. But it was a hard-fought battle between the two, New England and Seattle. As Wilson just come out, and he come out strong. The first half, uh, the first quarter and a half, first quarter and a half is a 0-0 game. Honestly, I could tell you as a, as a, a as not a fan to either team, but, uh, for, from what I had seen, that this game was going to go down to the wire no matter what. It could have been three to nothing. It could have been seven to three. It could have been seventeen to seven, like I had predicted many weeks ago, here on the uh, Jimmy the K Sports Show. It could have very well been Seattle winning, but yet again, I almost have become this prophet and plethora of sports uh, of knowledge. And viewers out there that have watched this show and have continued to watch this show will know that you go back through through past shows. And granted, if you're watching on YouTube, you go you click through the YouTube channel, you only see uh, other than this one one other show. But if you go to the YouTube page, the All About Sports Zone page, it's the same thing. Uh, look up, go to uh, YouTube and type in. Jimmy the K Sports Show, all of ours pop up. You can go through all of them through the past, you know, however God knows, how, however many that, that we've done. It's been so long that we've done it. Uh, but you can go through past shows that way. YouTube archives them all for a, a, uh, a plethora amount of time. And so uh, if you don't know what plethora means, go get a dictionary. It probably means you're too young to watch the show anyway. Um, awesome game this was. I swear this was probably the best Super Bowl in a very long time. Last year's Super Bowl between Denver and um, Seattle was just a blowout, a complete blowout. Many of the guests here at the uh, the, the Kersey family Super Bowl party had already ditched it. They had already said enough's enough. Uh, by the third quarter, everyone was gone. Halfway through the third quarter, everyone was gone. This game, people were staying till the end. We were intrigued to see what would happen. Would Brady pull off the victory? Would Wilson somehow get him in and uh, get that back-to-back -back championship? And um, if you watched till the end of the game, you saw that Tom Brady, MVP Tom Brady, most valuable player Tom Brady, Got another Super Bowl ring, and I will tell you, I will tell you, despite Deflate Gate, Spy Gate, and all these other freaking gates that they've come up with, I swear everything's a gate anymore. Before long, before uh, next season, you're going to start hearing uh, the New England Patriots are going to start practicing under practice gate. No one flipping cares, okay? I'm sick of the gates, okay? So, um, Tom Brady doing an excellent job. They win 28-24. And now for the fun part, we're going to go straight through the stats. The stats show that Tom Brady prevailed. I had told many, many people once Tom Brady and Russell Wilson were in the Super Bowl that Master would teach student how this game is played, and sure enough, the master found a way to win it over the student, Russell Wilson. A great job by, by uh, Tom Brady as he has continued to thrive in his excellency, and he's definitely a candidate for the Hall of Fame in, in years to come, and I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, a year, uh, two, three years after he retires, he winds up in the Hall of Fame, but let's get to it. Let's get to the stats. These are these were the stats over the game. If you look at this, the, the first downs, it was pretty equivalent for both teams. 25 first downs for New England to Seattle's 20. Pretty tight game right there. 
Rushing first downs, one for New England, eight for Seattle. So basically what you, you see from that is both teams really didn't have a run game. The run game was pretty well shut down from the beginning of the game. And New England really didn't have a run game at all. <clears throat> first downs from penalties, three for New England, two for Seattle. No big deal. One of those for uh, Seattle, if I'm not mistaken, came right at the end of the game when one of their players was ejected. Uh, hot heads leveled. He got a little perturbed. He had a ring. He wanted another one. He threw a punch. Big whoop. It happens. Third down efficiency. Now this is where MVP Tom Brady overshadows Russell Wilson. Eight and for 14 on third down conversions to Seattle's 3 of 10. Fourth downs, 0-0, zero, zero, both either way. Total plays, 72 New England, 53 Seattle. Total yards, total yards. If you look at the total yards, Seattle actually had more with 396 to 377 over New England. Yards per play, 5.2. Seattle still smashed New England there with 7.5 yards per play. Total drives, 12 for New England, 11 for Seattle. They were pretty well equivalent in that statistic right there. Now for the passing part. This is where uh, master prevails over teacher, or, or teacher prevails over student, excuse me. Completions for uh, Tom Brady were 37 of 50 to Russell Wilson's 12 for 21. 320 yards in New England to 234 yards Seattle. So New England pretty well won in the passing game. Yards per pass, 6.3 to 9.8. Russell Wilson absolutely crushed Tom Brady in that category. Interceptions thrown, Brady had two. One for Russell Wilson, and the one that really counted was the one at the end of the game. The only one that Russell Wilson threw was the one at the end of the game that cost him. That cost him the game. My thinking is that of all the other commentators, what was going on in the play caller's mind in Seattle. You've got Marshawn Lynch. He's going to get it in. He's going to drive it in. Instead, you're going to throw the football and get it intercepted. Not a very good move on that part. Not a very good move. Sacks and yards lost. One sack to eight yards lost for Seattle. Three sacks to 13 yards lost for uh, New England. Excuse me, those are flip-flopped. Now rushing, this is where it, they almost tripled, <laughs> excuse me, New England's rushing yards. 162, Seattle, 57, New England. Rushing intense 21 to Seattle's 29. Yards per rush, 2.7, 5.6. Red zones made an attempt. They were three for four. New England, five. <coughs> Excuse me. Three for five. Seattle, five penalties for 36 yards to seven penalties for seven yards. Two turnovers to one. Fumbles lost, zero apiece. Turnovers thrown, 2-1. to one. We've already went over that. Defensive special teams touchdown, 0 on either side. Possession time, 33 minutes, 46 seconds. To Seattle's 26 minutes and 14 seconds. The reason Seattle lost this game, one, a bad play call at the end of the game. By Seattle's play caller, the offensive coordinator. And two, because Tom Brady's a better quarterback than Russell Wilson. We see that through pretty well all the stats. You know, Russell Wilson can get more yards per pass. But Tom Brady's more efficient than Russell Wilson was. All in all, it was a good game, 28-24. Like I said, through the first 
quarter and a half, I literally thought the game was going to be 0-0. This game was going to end up being a 3 nothing game, 7-3 game, 17-7 game like I had predicted, predicted many weeks ago here on this show. Or quite possibly a... Um, you know, a two to nothing game with the safety. But instead, it was none of the above. And the New England Patriots prevail yet again. Congratulations to the New England Patriots. Congratulations to Tom Brady on yet another Super Bowl win. Now, you know, MVP, yes. Hall of Fame talk, yes. We've got to start talking Hall of Fame for Tom Brady. Hall of Fame, I mean. He could retire tomorrow, <laughs> and they should be talking Hall of Fame five minutes later. Because, honestly, I've seen lots of great quarterbacks in the day. Joe Montana was a great quarterback. Troy Aikman was a great quarterback. You know, um, Roger Staubach was a great quarterback. But, honestly, from the comebacks, the fourth quarter comebacks, the, the the way that he has led his team, I have to say Tom Brady is the greatest out of all those quarterbacks. Greatest. And there are a lot out there. And, you know, I have no bias to the New England Patriots. But what I do is I have to call a banana a banana when I see a banana. Hopefully I didn't make you hungry with that analogy because after that Super Bowl party, you probably be passed out on the couch right now. I want to know here in the next week or so, Friday evening or, or Saturday, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out which day is going to be best. I, I have, uh, as, you, as you continue to follow the All About Sports Zone page, you've noticed that we quite possibly will move the show to Friday nights at 9 p.m. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a window where the viewers are going to hit, where we're going to get three, four viewers at a time. Um, <laughs> Friday nights may not be good. Saturdays still may not be good. Sundays may not be good. I may have to move them to uh, Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. Uh, we don't have anything then anymore. Uh, so, one way or the other, stay tuned to the page. But more than likely, the show's going to get moved. Um, it could quite possibly wind up being months for... Uh, a few months from now, I'm not going to start doing it yet, but a few months from now, as we get further into this and I start getting more established, um, we're probably going to start doing shows throughout the weekend. So you're going to get Friday, Saturday, maybe a Sunday afternoon show. You're going to get three shows in a weekend. And then, you know, if that works out, then we'll continue to do that. But if not, then we'll We'll start doing weekdays. We'll hit a time for weekdays every weekday, two or three weekdays, four weekdays, five weekdays. Uh, there are only five weekdays. Um, then we'll definitely hit there. But stay tuned to the All About Sports Zone page on Facebook. Um, if, you, if you like it, go to um, facebook.com backslash All About Sports Zone. Like the page. I put stuff up all the time. Um, try to keep people interested, intrigued in, in the show, in the page. Um, but with that being said, as months progress, we're going to start building up to more shows. I know you're sitting here going, wow, you have a hard time doing one show a weekend. How's it going to be doing multiple? We'll, we'll figure it out. Um. I'd like to thank our, our partnership with um, with um, a great group over at uh, the Ticket in Dallas. A great group at the Ticket in Dallas. Um, there, there there is talks, quite possibly, that uh, through friends of mine that uh, know people at the Ticket that. Have, uh, we could get this show established. I could get a VPN, something to uh, wirelessly connect and actually do a radio show at some point um, here for Dallas. 
<coughs> but until then, I'm not going to worry about that because you, the fans, my fans, the Jimmy the K Sports Show fans, are um, here for sports information, and that's what you're going to get. Congratulations yet again to the New England Patriots. I will probably forego any other sports news because, honestly, I do not want it foreshadowing um, that of the New England Patriots and what they have accomplished this evening in the Super Bowl. Congratulations to Tom Brady on yet another MVP. And congratulations to Robert Kraft on yet another Super Bowl victory in his ownership. And yet again, like I said, I've become yet another prophet as I predicted the New England Patriots winning the Super Bowl. Thank you for tuning in to the Jimmy the K Sports Show. Until next time, I'm Jimmy the K. Peace out.